welcome to season five of California Cooking. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. After a few months off to welcome my new little guy, Theo, we had a great summer as a family of four. Coming up on today's show, Levi and I are checking out a cute retro spot that has reopened its doors. Then with school back in session, it's all about those easy weeknight dinners. So I'm cooking up a delicious one pot meal that comes together in just minutes. And Levi joining me in the kitchen to recreate a frozen treat. Taylor the Pup first opened its doors back in 1946, right here in LA, and it quickly became an iconic spot that was beloved by celebrities, locals, and tourists alike. In 2005, it closed its doors, but now it's back open. So Levi and I got to visit this legendary hot dog stand right in the heart of West Hollywood. Hi, Dimitri. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. This spot, Dimitri, I think is cool because I used to live in the neighborhood, literally a block away. And I always drove by it and it was always different things. It's one of those spots that it's on busy Santa Monica and La Cienega. And I thought this would be the perfect spot, but nothing ever stuck. Right. And here you guys are, Tail of the Pup. Why this spot for you? Well, uh, as far as the location, uh, maybe one of the reasons before it didn't work is because it didn't really have a good frontage, you know? Yeah. The tail of the pup kind of speaks for itself. That's you know? true. When you have a big, giant hot dog <laughs> that's in the middle of the street, I think it attracts attention. It's saying, come here. Exactly. What's going on? Now, the story behind Tail of the Pup, though, is pretty cool. It's cool. It's uh, It's been around since 1946. Uh, it's been in the city of West Hollywood the whole time. Yeah. Uh, it used to be on uh, La Cienega and Beverly, right where the new Sofitel Hotel is. And then, you know, it closed. Uh, the business closed. It went, the hot dog went to a relics museum. Right, so th so what I think is interesting though is this hot dog, this this little building or just. The building, yeah. This safe. is the, that. So the building itself, that, that the, the stand. Yeah. That part was preserved, and so we were able to get it. So this is the original. We obviously had to fix it up a little bit. And so what have you guys done different with Tail of the Pup now compared to back in 1946? We've tried to preserve as much as possible of the original menu. Um, obviously, we've kind of updated it with a little bit more modern flavors of today, try to get a, you know, a healthier. There's a vegan dog. There's I a heard. vegan dog. We added a vegan dog. Uh -huh. um, we actually have a spirits license here, so we uh, we do offer some canned cocktails and beer. But other than that, you know, we added soft serve, which is something that you know we both all love. Nice. You know, we have shakes and floats. What do you remember about it as a kid? Why did you like it? I mean, because it's a giant hot dog, you know, yeah. and it's like so enticing. Like every you know, you see that thing, and you got it. Everybody wants to go check it out. Yeah. And also, like this was a uh, a, a landmark that was very important for the city of West Hollywood. Yeah, tell me about the and story with this The city spot. actually reached out to us and like, please put it in. When we were looking for the perfect location, when we had the rights, we were kind of searching everywhere and trying to find the right spot. And the city of West Hollywood really wanted to make sure that it was back in West Hollywood. Obviously, Tale of the Pup has a cool backstory, but this actual location has a cool backstory too. Yeah, so this is the original Doors recording studio. This is where uh, uh, Jim Morrison, uh, they recorded L.A. Woman That's here. amazing. They actually recorded in the ba downstairs bathroom. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's cool. And it's very Americana, exactly. isn't it? Yes. Just being here, the colors, the, the awning, right. the menu. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Look who I brought. Levi, check out this place. How cool is that? It's a hot dog. Hi, Jake. Hey, how's it going, Good, Jessica? how are you? Doing very well, doing very well. Culinary director, so you're you're behind all this. As soon as I sat down and this was all put in front of me, yeah. it made me think of like a day at the fair or an amusement park. Yeah. And that's what, what we really went for, I feel, yeah. is like, you know, with the food, the environment, you know, the vertical stripes yeah. and everything. Just wanted to like, you walk in, you love the food, you're smiling, you're having fun, and it's just like that fun, like, hang around environment. That's that's what we love. Yeah, Talk so. to me about this bad boy. What we have right here, this is, a, this is the baseball pup, so this Levi. is our foot-long hot dog. Wanna try a bite on each and, end, like yeah, Lady and, and the Tramp? That's what you need to do right there. <laughs> <laughs> so it has relish, uh, raw onions, and then our uh, proprietary uh, house mustard as well on it. I love that the dog is a little bit like, 
crisped on the edges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's mm. that like snappy casing. Yes. That's why we say snappiest dogs in town. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> what else do we have? 1976 is just like the basic dog. It's just a, a Oh, ketchup. but this has the ketchup on it. It's got it. the ketchup. It's got the house mustard okay, as well. Let me eat that. Okay. Nice and easy. This is definitely one of the most popular. Obviously, it's like the classic 1976. The classic uh, 1946 as well as a top seller as well. Uh, what that has is it's a toasted bun on the grill and it's also a split dog. So we, we cut it in half, char it on the flat top grill, and then we put it into a toasted bun with little grilled onions and then the house mustard on top. You have onion rings. Yeah. You have loaded fries. We got chili cheese fries. Yeah. So we load it up, as you can see. And then we also have a vegan chili as well, which uh, is delicious. Um, we use impossible meat. Um, and you really can't tell the difference. It's amazing. It really yeah. is. And then we have the puppy dog, uh, which, uh, you know, the kids go That's crazy so over the puppy dog. Yeah, um, Yeah, my wife, uh, she owns uh, Cakes by Robin. She helped with the buns? Yeah, she helped with the buns, oh, designing cute. them. I hear this place. Even, you know, now and, and years ago was yeah. always a celebrity spot. There's so many pictures of people coming to Taylor the Pup over the years, right? Oh, there's there's so many. I mean, you know, you have like Barbara Streisand, the Go-Go. Um, yeah. You know, we, you know, last week we had Jay Leno come You're in kidding. About, like two or three times <laughs> that week, you know, just to get his plain dog that oh, he loves. Oh, plain. He, nothing plain on dog. it. Yeah. Does he drive his classic car up here to get it too? You know how he's all about the cars. He is. He loves the cars. And I think, you know, that's probably what he appreciates about yeah. the history of the place as well. All right, we got some dessert for wow, you guys. Jake. So I got a uh, okay. vanilla. This Thank is, uh, you. So these are also European style, so it's a little oh, bit more flavorful too. And then I did the swirl, classic awesome. chocolate vanilla swirl for you. Delicious flavor. Oh my flavor. gosh, yeah. is that yummy. Cheers, Levi. Thanks, Jake. What a fun place to grab lunch. I'm so happy they were able to revive such an iconic spot. And you really can't go wrong with any place that has hot dogs, chili fries, and soft serve. Coming up, more ice cream for Levi. Oh boy, he's helping me make homemade Choco Tacos. Plus, baby Theo makes an appearance. But first, I'm making an easy weeknight meal, spicy peanut sauce noodles that comes together in 15 minutes. That's coming up next. I love a good weeknight meal that's tasty, but also has your veggies in it and comes together in no time. So here's my take on Thai noodles with spicy peanut sauce. Today's dish I happen to like because anything where I can sneak the veggies in, for me, I'm not just saying for, for kids, I like when I can sneak veggies in for myself into a noodle dish and it's got this spicy peanutty dressing. So uh, the first thing is just cutting up the veggies and really it can be anything you like. I have some red pepper and I think you wanna cut them pretty thin because we're not gonna cook the veggies. They're gonna remain raw. Cucumber, some shredded carrots. I always have a bag of shredded carrots in the fridge and I throw them into everything. Look who's here. Levi, what's up? Are you gonna help me make this? Yeah. What are you gonna help me do? I'm gonna julienne some peppers and then cut some cucumber. Oh, I know what you could do. How about you pick some cilantro leaves? Will you do that for me? See all the little leaves on the stems? And just pick those off. So you only want the stems? No, I only want the leaves and pick the stems out, if you don't mind. I have some water on the stove. I have water on the stove um, boiling to cook the noodles. Red pepper. Done. Now I've got the cucumber. So you're gonna cut the cucumber for me. We'll split it. So do you know how to use the knife? You move your fingers back. Very good. I'm gonna go, careful, I'm gonna go a little thinner. Now that I'm thinking about it, you know, yeah, that's, yes, that's excellent. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm changing my mind. You can cut yours that way. I think what I'm gonna do is cut them into little sticks like my peppers. Do you like peanut butter? I don't know, you're one of those kids that I would say doesn't necessarily love peanut butter. when I was a baby, I loved it. 
Yeah, I did, you know what, when I was little, I didn't like peanut butter either. So some nice crunchy cucumber will go in, however you wanna cut them. We can do some green onion. I'm gonna give you two green onion, you can cut those. Uh, try to go, I'm gonna take two and you take two. Tr I'll show you. I have more than two. Okay, so these little hairy parts you don't want. Levi, you're doing so great with the knife. I'm very proud of you. So I've got the green onion cut up. We've got our red pepper, our cucumber, our cilantro. Well, you should you... have got a green pepper. I know. You should have gotten your favorite green peppers. On to our cucumber sauce. So I've got creamy peanut butter. Do a little uh, sriracha. Mm, I'm gonna put some. Don't go too crazy. It's so cute, that Levi. One? Yeah, more. What? Yeah. Levi, what was that picture I saw of you the other day? You were a baby. Remember you were And eating? I was eating hot sauce. He was in his high chair, and he has a bottle of hot sauce on his high chair. He's, he's like yeah, and maybe I'm two years old. It. Sesame oil, toasted sesame oil, lime. Gotta loosen up the peanut butter just a little bit. And loosen up Give it the hot sauce. That's right, give it some tang. I think you've chopped everything, very good. And then garlic. Garlic in a little hot water, just to, again, loosen up the peanut butter. So it makes a sauce. Well, we have soy sauce or coconut aminos. Coconut aminos. So coconut aminos have a little bit of sweetness. It's I made, want sweetness. It's made from coconut blossom nectar. Oh, and I got it. they use it a lot of times in place of soy sauce, but it does have a little hint of sweetness, which is kind of nice. Yay, I want to drink it. Yeah. And then maybe <laughs> just because my water a splash of soy. Now you can hit blend. Okay, now, should we try? See, it's nice and creamy in there. Let's taste. I think the trick to making this you just gotta keep testing. Okay, hot noodles. Whoa. So, isn't that nice? You wanna try one? So I got rice noodles, stir fry rice noodles. You could also use linguine, which would be great. Just a little bit of a thicker Wait, noodle. Wait, this is rice? Yeah. I'm eating rice right now. Took only five minutes. No rice. So while it's warm, you wanna put the dressing this is when it flavors everything, when it's hot, and it's gonna just soak into those hot noodles. Wait. They're gooey and I soft. I like a lot of sauce, because you think it's a lot, and then it really kind of thickens up on you there. To our bowl, in goes all of our veggies. Look at all those beautiful colors. We've got our peppers, our onions, cilantro. I just threw it all in. I didn't even bother chopping it up. And there you go. Lime. You've got a yummy, oh yeah, some extra lime. I like what you're thinking here. Oh yeah, babe. Before we finish, I gotta add one more thing. Do you know what that is? What? Peanuts. Now I have some salted roasted peanuts. And if it gets too thick, that's why I kept adding a little bit of that hot water just to loosen it up. But we're done. I want you to make me some of this for dinner. That's good. Levi. Good job, hon. Lunch for me. Yeah, me too. That was so easy, so good, and Levi loved it too. For the complete recipe, check out our Instagram page at KTLA California Cooking. Coming up, Choco Tacos may be discontinued, but that doesn't mean you can't make your own. Levi and I are trying our hand at it. Plus, baby Theo gonna join us for a bit coming up next. In case you haven't heard, Choco Tacos no longer available. They discontinued them. I happen to love them. And if you have a hankering for one, you can make it at home. Here's how. Hi, Levi. Hi. How you doing? 
New Levi, new haircut. I like it. You have never seen this Levi before. <laughs> okay. I asked you, I said, what did you want to make today? And you said, what did you say? Ice cream tacos. No, you actually said cookies, but instead we are going to make ice cream tacos. Because mommy's a kind of a terrible baker, I said, you know what we could make instead of cookies? Did you make this up? Choco tacos? I wish. I wish I thought of it. I need to go get some tortillas. Not a, no, no, but for the choco taco, oh. I could see how you'd be confused and think we'd need a tortilla, but no. We're making our own. But how? Right. It's gonna be so crumbly. So choco taco, have you ever had one? Um, no. Now they're, apparently they don't sell them anymore, so we need oh. to now make our own. Oh. I happen uh. to love a choco taco. I haven't had one in a really long Why time. Why don't they sell them? I don't know, they discontinued them. Are you ready to make the batter? So we're gonna crack eggs. We only need the egg whites. Do you know how to do that? Get in there. Is it the white part? Yep, so you go like this, watch. You go only back that white stuff? You go back stuff? and forth, yep. The yolk will just save in there. Okay, and then another one. Okay, we've got our egg whites. You wanna whisk those up for me? Half a teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla. Pinch of salt. Half a cup of super fine sugar. I know, Theo, you would love a choco taco. Now, he's gonna thank you melted butter, two he, tablespoons. He drinks milk all the time. That's true, he does drink. Oh, speaking of milk, thank you for the reminder. Three tablespoons of milk. So basically what we're making now, the dough for the Doughy dough. taco. The tortilla. Yeah. So two thirds of a cup of flour. Whisk that in, and that's it. And now we just make a dough. Okay, Levi, time to make the tacos. You ready? I've got- spray. Okay, cooking spray just in there. Perfect, that's good. Okay, I'm, I don't want it too big. I think I'm gonna make like mini size. It's almost like making a pancake, basically. I just yeah, pour in the center. In the and yes. Then, and then it gets it, more yes. circle because it- it, it spreads out. It Correct. Spreads out. Correct. Is it because, starting to bubble? Yeah, it's bubbling. It is? Okay. For taco night here, we have these cute little taco holders. So I'm going to place the warm pancake over that and it'll harden in the shape of a taco. Do you I see what I'm doing flip now? It, flip okay, it. let me see. There we go. There we go. I really want to eat this pancake. You've been in the chocolate. You've been in the ice cream already, so now the fun part, filling our taco tacos. But wait, you have a job. Peanuts, salted, of course. You know what to do? Smash them. No. Well, that, that, that does, but this, more this way. No, like that. There you go, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna set these up in our taco stands here. Mommy, don't put your fingers anywhere close to this. I know, I know, the bag pops open. But that's okay, you did good. And then for you, I know how you love sprinkles, so you get sprinkles. I have vanilla ice cream and I've let it thaw. I have to, I'm gonna do this really fast and pop these in the freezer. And you said I should have gotten what ice cream? Um, chocolate chip cookie dough. Back in the freezer and, ah! Aw, oh, baby's here, baby. <laughs> Here's your boy. Hi. Hi, Theo. Baby. Theo, Theo, Ari. He was getting, he was getting jealous of Levi. Are you gonna be sous chef number two? You want some tacos or something? Or what do you guys make? Choco tacos. Choco tacos. Yeah. Maybe he's a little young for that. Taco tacos, hi, Should that be your first food? Chocolate I know, tacos? Should, should that be your first food? I think that would be frowned upon. No, your first. Okay, Levi, how many sweets are you gonna introduce this guy to? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. 1,000, oh. 2 million, 8,000 sweets. Oh, look at, he's happy about that. What's it like being a big brother? Fabulous, and I like to. Now, Levi's really sweet, big brother, isn't Very he? Very sweet. Really sweet. Legs All right, Theo. Up, legs up. My chocolate tacos are melting in the freezer. How are they melting? I don't know. Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay, these were a little 
Well, it was a little scary because maybe I let the ice cream melt too much, but we saved the day and we popped them in the freezer. So now, Levi, here's what we do. We take a taco. We have melted dark chocolate. All I did is take dark chocolate chips and put them in the microwave. Sprinkle. This is such a mess. Wait, what about some with peanuts? You do another sprinkle, I'll do it. Those look beautiful though, I gotta say. That, those two are peanuts. Okay, peanuts. Whoa. We need to do this Peanuts. One. We need to cover chocolate here. You need to keep one hand free from chocolate and one hand is obviously kind of messy. Okay, Levi, sprinkle. Okay, back in the freezer. Ah, that is so much sprinkles. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, taste test time. Are right, you want Wait. a taco taco? Yeah. I want this sprinkle one. Levi had the right idea. Mm. Mm. It's, good. it's hard for me to bite through ice cream on my teeth. They're too sensitive. My teeth are just fine. Me too. Well, Levi, I think this was, do you think this was a success? What do you mean that is? Good? How many Choco Tacos could you eat? A thousand. Mm. They're a little time consuming, but it was a fun project for the two of us and way too much ice cream for Levi. Well, that does it for us. It's so nice to be back and we'll see you again next week. Bye. I know you like red pepper. What about? I like green pepper. Oh, you like green pepper better? Okay. So, so you can snack on that. You like green pepper. Well, note to self. You should have got a green pepper. We're trying to see who can get him to giggle first. Win. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> he hasn't giggled yet. What about Close. laughing? Okay, your turn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>